All right, let's now talk about how to graph the entire rational function. All right, so these are going to be more complicated. It's not just a simple translation of one of our basic reciprocal functions. All right, so here, let's just start with an example. Find all intercepts and asymptotes and use them to determine the correct graph. All right, so in a situation like this, there's certain steps uh, of how you want to approach it. And the first is, let's find the um, y-intercept. All right, and so how do we find a y-intercept? Well, that's fancy talk for just plugging in 0 for x. All right, and so when we plug in 0 for x, we get negative 3 fifths. All right, so we're going to keep that number in the back of our mind or on our paper. So we know that we're crossing the um, y-axis at negative 3 fifths. Okay, so we have our y-intercept point here. All right, now let's find the x-intercepts. All right, now it looks like a complicated function, and, and maybe you guys will get confused, um, if, or people not listening to this might get confused, uh, but you guys certainly won't. And that is because finding the x-intercept is not hard here. All we need to do is take our numerator and set it equal to 0. All right, so I take my numerator, 4x plus 3, I set it equal to 0, and I solve for x, and I get negative 3 fourths. All right, so the x-intercept is ne negative 3 fourths 0, or I'm crossing the x-axis at negative 3 fourths. All right, so we have our x and y-intercepts. That leaves our vertical and horizontal asymptotes to find. All right, so how do we find the vertical asymptote? Well, that's when we set the denominator equal to 0. All right, so now we take x minus 5, the denominator, set it equal to 0, and we get x equals 5. And so at 5 on our x-axis, we're going to have a vertical asymptote. All right, so our, our function will not touch the vertical line x equals 5. All right, lastly, we need to think about the horizontal asymptote. All right, this is where we need to look at the degree of the numerator and the denominator. What is the degree of the numerator? Well, it's 1, all right? It's x to the first power, so the degree is 1. And in the denominator, all right, again, it's x to the first power, so the degree is 1. Since the degree is the same, our horizontal asymptote is going to be the ratio of the leading coefficients, which here is 4 over 1, or just 4, all right? And so we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 4. All right, so can we actually graph it? All right, I'm just, here's just a table of everything we've done so far. We found the y-intercept, the x-intercept, the vertical asymptote, and the horizontal asymptote. And as you can see, all right, I am graphing um, my x, my x-intercept, my y-intercept, and I'm also uh, have my vertical asymptotes and my horizontal asymptotes on here. Now, usually. Um, I'll just have you guys pick out the correct graph, so you'll just be looking for these four points. You know, are the vertical and horizontal asymptotes correct? Uh, is the x-intercept and the y-intercept, are they also correct? And so it'll be more of a multiple choice situation where you'll just pick the best option. If you actually wanted to graph this by hand, Obviously, we would need more information than just the asymptotes and our intercepts here. And we'd have to plug in a few more points um, to especially get the piece that's up here in the shifted first quadrant. Okay, uh, So we're, we won't really do anything that complicated in here. It's mainly just making sure you guys understand asymptotes, intercepts, and being able to use those to pick out a correct graph. All right, so here's a summary of steps for graphing and how to find them. This is probably something you guys are going to want on that note card for exam three. All right, for the x-intercept, we take the numerator, set it equal to zero, and solve for x. For the y-intercept, we simply plug in zero for x and solve for y. For the vertical asymptotes, we set the denominator equal to zero and solve for x. And then lastly, for the horizontal asymptotes, this is where we're going to look at the power or the degree in the numerator and denominator. If the denominator has greater degree or higher power, then our asymptote is going to be y equals 0. However, if they have the same degree, then it's going to be the ratio of the leading coefficients, as we saw in the example in this lecture. All right, and I think that this is something that's really not that difficult. It just requires you guys working with finding these four numbers. 
right? And that is what the most wonderful homework is.